Hi everyone and welcome back to our online resource for viola players. Today is the third lesson of our three lessons on our grade one piece Fiery Fiddler. We're going to learn the last eight bars of music before putting it together with our piano accompaniment at the end of the lesson. In addition to this we're going to learn about tempo and we're going to learn about accents and how to play them on our instrument. The first thing we're going to do though is start with a D major warm-up. So can you get your instruments out ready and follow my instructions on the next page. Rock it on D. First finger red. Second finger yellow. Third finger green. Rock it on A. First finger red. Second finger yellow. Third finger green. Second finger yellow. First finger red. Rock it on A. Three on the D. Two on the yellow. First finger red. Rock it on D. In lesson one, we learnt to play bars one to eight. Pause the video to remind yourself of this and then press play so you can play along with me. Remember to control your bow, follow the dynamics and don't forget the repeat. One and two and. In lesson two, we learnt to play bars nine to 16. Again, pause the video to remind yourself of this and then press play so that you can play along with me. Again, remember to control your bow, follow the dynamics and don't forget the repeat. One and two and. Do you remember the dynamic changes? So in the first eight bars we played mezzo forte, in those eight bars we played forte. Have a look at the music for bars one to eight and compare it with bars 17 to the end. What do you notice? Take a moment to have a look. Is it the same or is it different? Did you spot it? I'm now going to highlight where it's different. If you look at the last bar of the first version, we finish on two runnings, D, A, 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 and we also have a repeat. But in the second part, at the end of the piece, we have a walk on a low D, then a run with an accent on a high D, and then a sniff rest, and there's no repeat. So here we have the last eight bars of the piece for Fiery Fiddler. You'll notice I've circled the last bar. I'm just going to play you those last two notes. So one and two and. So you'll notice that the first note was a little bit longer and I also put an accent on the last note, third finger on A. So with this we have to press a little bit harder into the string and move the bow a little bit quicker. Take 10 seconds to have a practice of those two notes. Okay, so now let's play Fiery Fiddler bar 17 right to the end. So get your F sharp ready and remember this is mezzo forte. 
one and two and. We're now going to talk about tempo. Tempo is how fast or how slow the music is. Music is controlled by a beat. It doesn't have to be heard, but it does have to be felt, just like your heartbeat. When I count you into play, this is the beat that you feel throughout the music. It's also going to be the speed that you play at. In the box on this page, you'll see some Italian words to describe different tempo markings with an English translation of what they mean. And then on the right hand side, you'll see the number of beats that would fit into a minute. The more beats, the faster the speed. The black coloured device on this page is a metronome and it's used to give us the beats at different speeds. Have a listen to Largo, which is very slow. So that's a really slow tempo. Compare that with Presto, which is very fast, 200 beats per minute. So just have a think about how fast that's going to be. So you can see if I was to count you in at that speed, you'd have to play your music really quickly. We're going to try playing the first four bars of Fiery Fiddler at two different tempo markings. So follow my count in. We'll do a slow one first. See if you can do it with me. One and two and. Now let's try it at a faster tempo. Get ready, here we go. One and two and. See the difference that it makes going at a different tempo. So now we've learnt about tempo and the different speeds that we can play at, we're going to have a go at putting Fiery Fiddler together with some piano accompaniment at a slow tempo, so adagio. There's a four bar introduction, that's how count, so you know when to start. If you want to pause the video first to have a practice and then play with me, that's absolutely fine. Okay, it's now time to enter our cross-school challenge. 
Answer questions based on this video, find out if you are right and score points for your school. If you're watching this video on YouTube, then you can find the link to the quiz in the description section below. If you're watching this video anywhere else, then you can click on the link and that will take you directly to the quiz. If you need to pause this video for more time, that's absolutely fine to do that. Your scores will be entered into the Nottingham Music Hub School Scoreboard. Enjoy the quiz! Congratulations on completing the third lesson on Fiery Fiddler. We've now learnt the whole of the piece and we've played it with a slow piano accompaniment. In addition to this, we've also learnt about tempo and the different words that we might come across to describe tempo markings. And we've also learnt how to play an accent on our instruments. In our next video, Fiery Fiddler Appendix, you'll see that we've got some rehearsal tracks and performance tracks ready for you to play along to to practice. Please use them and start slowly at first and build up to the faster speeds. Keep an eye out for our YouTube channel, subscribe and make sure you check out our scales workshops where you'll see Belinda taking you through all of the scales.